Here's how to turn any electric paddleboard pump into a rechargeable battery pump. Super easy. All the pumps take the cigarette lighter. You need this adapter, cigarette lighter to EC5, Echo Charlie 5. Plugs into the battery. Tight fit. Just plugs in. Got power. Set it to whatever PSI you want. 15, whatever. And it goes. It's super awesome. Totally recommend it. I'll go over the different pumps and the requirements that they have to be compatible with the different types of batteries and adapters and go over uh, what you need to know when shopping for these pumps or batteries. And also how many fills, how many times can you fill your paddleboard with each type of battery? What batteries are good? What batteries work but kind of fall apart after a while and I don't recommend the way to charge them, how long it takes to charge and just things I prefer, really versatile charging cords and other stuff that go with it. A couple things to show with the battery and the adapter. Uh, I like this brand of batteries because they come with a two-year warranty, which is pretty cool. Uh, we'll go over the specs here in a second. So if the pump requires 12 volts of power, your battery needs to have 12 volts of power. Second, the capacity of the battery matters. Ma or milliamp hours is a measure of a battery's capacity or storage capacity. The pumps that have the built-in battery have about four or five, sometimes even 6,000 ma, which is on the smaller end compared to the separate batteries, uh, which will have 10, 12, even uh, 21,000 ma. Lastly, the battery needs an EC5 plug, and that's the type of plug that the adapter will go into, the EC5 to the cigarette lighter adapter. So there's single stage pumps, dual stage pumps, and batteries of different sizes. So what's the best combination of pump and battery? I tested how many fills per charge each pump and battery combination get, I also tested if a pump plugged into an external battery is faster or slower than the pump plugged into the car. They're the same. And then I tested how long does each battery take to recharge. Both worn them all out. This one's about done charging. Cooling down this thing after each use, I'm using it so much. Big battery just is kind of starting. Small battery is all finished, all the bars are done. So what are the different setups cost and what's the best value? Meaning what gets you the best bang for the buck? After looking at 10 different combinations of pumps with internal and external batteries, there was a clear first, second, and third place winner. First place for me is my generic brand dual stage pump with built-in 6,000 mAh battery, like the one I've shown in this video and have a link to in the description. 
It's the ideal first pump you could get. It gets five fills per charge, it fills fast, and it's more than 50 bucks cheaper than other brands. It maximizes that ratio of high convenience and low price. Most people get tired of using a manual pump and upgrade to the convenience of an electric pump. But after they do that, I and others want to upgrade to the convenience of not needing to be tethered to a running car to use the pump. So we upgrade to a battery powered pump. In retrospect, buying a built-in battery pump would have saved me a little bit of time there. Second place is my setup using a large 12 volt 10 amp battery and adapter with a generic brand dual stage pump. If you already have a dual stage pump that's car powered, then this battery is a great upgrade. The total cost may end up being the same or even a few bucks higher than an all-in-one pump with internal battery, but the big perk here is that it's versatile. It's a great power bank and emergency car jump. However, when fully charged, they put out a little more than 12 volts, and that causes some pumps to trip or not turn on to protect itself. I can't guarantee that every 12 volt 10 amp battery out there will work every time with every pump. Third place, and my last setup I would actually recommend, is to get a medium sized battery with a generic brand dual stage pump. You'll get two fills per charge, spend the same or less as a built in battery pump, but have a good power bank for emergencies and to jump a small car. I was sad my Roy Pow battery that cost me about 70 bucks didn't work. I was really looking forward to having a simple battery with no adapter needed, but maybe similar batteries that iRocker and other paddleboard makers sell for their pumps do work.